no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Let's start over again. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. We are like in blistering heat right now. I mean, it's 97 degrees. I think we're a little bit... It's over 100 degrees. It is miserable. We can't, I mean, we can live, we feel, I feel like you can't even think straight. And we're dying, like trying to figure out ways to get cooler and whatever. And so Natalie all of a sudden says, you know, there's an app. Look, at, I think you can put the, a fan on your phone. And so anyhow, she downloads the app and she's getting ready and she's holding it up to her face and she turns it on. <laughs> It's just a, she honestly air. thought that there was going to be air, air coming out of her phone. <laughs> she thought that there was going to be air coming out of her phone. That's how That's delirious it. we are. Welcome to Delirious Camp with the Petersons. We're literally struggling. Later, Iowa. It's 5:36 in the morning, about 10 and a half miles in, and uh, we already got traffic here. Today's going to be the busiest, craziest day because we're going between Ames and Des Moines, and there's going to be a lot of day riders. So we're just trying to beat the day riders in. And Natalie. What's up? Okay, here we go. Here's the big reveal. Ready? Here we go. Welcome to Hump Day! It's <laughs> Wednesday! We're here so early that they're still setting up the decorations here in Slater. Looks like they're doing a Dr. Seuss theme. One fish, red fish, blue fish, one fish, two fish. Oh, Natalie's getting interviewed and she's got her orgasm donor shirt on. <laughs> Day three, right? Or four? Day four. I can't even keep track anymore. It's just all a blur. 6.20 in the morning. We're going from Ames, Iowa down to Des Moines. Yeah. We already stopped at Slater. And Madrid is up ahead. And it's 6.20 in the morning. And of course, Natalie wanted to go to the beer tent. <laughs> yeah. They haven't even opened the beer tent yet. That's how early we are. I just told the guy up in front I was glad I wasn't the first one in line for a beer at 6.20 in the morning. I think I'm gonna get a root beer, but don't tell Natalie. They have one non-alcoholic. Oh, they have two. They have a Sunday morning raspberry non-alcoholic and then a root beer. I'm getting the root beer. Cause I'm a weenie, I don't care. Eight o'clock in the morning, we just passed Madrid. And 
we're uh, getting ready to head down to Ankeny. I don't even know where we're going. Oh no, Polk City. We're going to Polk City is next. And then Ankeny. And then Des Moines. What? Do you know what you're talking about? Yeah, we're going to Polk City next. And then we're going to Ankeny. Yeah. And then we're going to Des Moines. Yeah. I know what I'm talking about. This is my neck of the woods, baby. You're a brave man. Thank you. Looking good. Riding the bike backwards. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Ah, life is good, man. Still coming into Polk City, Iowa. We got Ankeny and Des Moines to go. Travel 30 miles, we got 24, 25 to go. We're going 30 miles an hour down a wonderful hill. I wish it was all downhill, but that's not possible. I'm gonna have to catch up to her. All right, I'm here. Oh, yeah. There is the Iowa State Capitol to the left. And uh, I used to work there when I was a page. In the House of Representatives, the 100th General Assembly. I was the journal room page. Now we're going down Walnut Street. Heading downtown Des Moines.
We are in Des Moines. We're at like South Waterworks Park, I think it's called, or Waterworks Park. Kind of on the southwest side of Des Moines. Out in no man's land, and man oh man, there's nothing here but grass. And not a lot of shade. It's gonna be a hot, hot day and night in the tent. There's our luggage truck right there. That's where all of our luggage comes and then uh, staff and riders all grab their bags. They're all color coordinated. So there's yellow tags, orange, green, purple, blue, red. And then uh, they're put in various piles based on the whatever color tag is on the bag. And then you go and find your find your bag out of the piles. And there's a guy drinking Coors Light and he's a happy guy. We're a little worn out because, not really because of the distance, it was what, 54 miles you said? I think we did like 54, yeah. Yeah, but it's hot. Hot, it is 95 degrees. 95 degrees, so it's just blistering hot. And we're gonna go find ourselves air conditioning back this at the is showers where, this is where the campers are yes. and get a salad that's what we're gonna do like you can't even stop sweating like you just keep getting wet shower city here we come it is crazy show us how happy you are about going to shower city right now show us how happy you are Woo! she's happy shower city just so you get an idea what this is all about. Semi full of showers. And look at how happy she is. She's going to her shower for the day. So there's just a bunch of hoses out here on the ground for people to wash themselves or wash their outfits. This is the this is where the main Ragbri campground is, or at least part of it. So anyhow, this is the Ragbri baggage area and probably only one of many. I don't know how many of these they have, but uh, this is nothing compared to what it was earlier. This is later in the day now, so a lot of the bags are gone. This is truck two, 6 a.m. it says. So truck one is over there. So they have different trucks and then they just throw all the bags in there and it's a free for all. It's a free for all. We are just getting nailed with hot, hot weather it's 97 degrees and like 103 or 104 degrees heat index and uh, life is very miserable here right now the thing is is that we got shade but there are people that are out in the sun still we even have massage services here at our campsite which is actually very nice my father he lies in the depths of the sea with no stone for his head but what matters to he there's a cool crystal fountain from England that flow. Give me the punch ladle, I'll fathom the bowl. I'll fathom the bowl, I'll fathom the bowl. Give me the punch ladle, I'll fathom the bowl. And that's all the verses I know. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, 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 let's start over again. Okay, so here's the deal. We are like in blistering heat right now. I mean, it's 97 degrees. I think we're a little bit... Index, though. 100 and something? It's over 100 degrees. It is miserable. We can't... I mean, we can... We feel... I feel like you can't even think straight. 
and we're dying like trying to figure out ways to get cooler and whatever and so Natalie all of a sudden says you know there's an app look at I think you can put the a fan on your phone and so anyhow she downloads the app and she's getting ready and she's holding it up to her face and she turns it on <laughs> It's just a noise. <laughs> it's just a, she honestly thought that there was going to be air coming out. <laughs> she thought that there was going to be air coming out of her phone. That's how delirious we are. And I mean, this is no joke, man. This is serious. This is stupid shit. This is what you do. That's a memorable moment. Oh, very. Thank you, Natalie, for sharing. Oh, Lordy. Just mass insanity. Which is typical of the camps. There's just campers everywhere you look for miles and miles. These guys here on the right are waiting for the shuttle to go to the main venue.